Oh, how the mighty hath fallen. These camels. I hated these camels when they first came out. I don't know if anybody saw that video. Maybe I'll link it in the description or something so you can take a trip down memory lane for what these camels used to be like when we first saw them. They turned into total pushovers this time around and I couldn't be happier. Revenge is sweet. So the plan here, we are going to get all set up and burst them down to 50% because they only cleanse debuffs once this time. They used to do it every 10%, but not anymore. The orb is trap damage, for lack of a better word. That's their attempt to sell Maria, which I don't think is gonna go well for people with Ace and for people with Core. I know Maria does not do the same thing as those characters. I know, I'm not saying that she does. I'm just saying I don't anticipate a lot of people feeling like they need her if they have those characters for this particular fight. That's all I'm saying. But there is value in Maria. I'm, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying she's bad. She's far from it. She's actually pretty damn good. I didn't get her LD. Tried a couple tickets and didn't show up, but I think I'm going to just let that one slide. It'll be alright. So, again, yeah, with the cleansing, we brought, as far as calls, we brought Reigns, Jack, and what was the other one? Ferret. Because uh, I figured we didn't need the Jack call for the first round. Like the first, uh, the first 50% health. But Ferris, you know, we can just apply her debuffs twice. And that helps out Garnet too because Ferris's imperils are framed, unlike Garnet's. So we'll still be hitting enchant the whole time, which is great. In addition to the debut of the Maria LD, we also got a surprise banner that re-features Balthier and Setzer and gave Balthier LD boards, which I thought was pretty cool. So I know a lot of people, especially Setzer, people are going to be pulling for him. He will miss him the first time around, and I say go for it, because Setzer is really good. And as for Kadaj, even though this is his lost chapter, he got nothing. Zip, zilt, nada, nothing. No upgrade. Hashtag fix Kadaj again. My way of dealing with the orb would be Garnet, because her overhead buff helps. It's a little risky, though, which is another reason why I want to burst right about now, because they're going to get the orbs up after they stop doing what they're doing here. Okay, here we go. We're getting orbs. So this way we can burst, and Garnet can up it just a little bit while we're in here. Give us a little bit of breathing room. And I think it's time to give the people what they want, musically. Otherworld, here we go. I know some of you missed it last time, I never put it in, but here it is. Another powerhouse of a team I would imagine for this would be Ace, Setzer, and Core. Would probably be just stupidly strong for this stage. You've got Ace to deal with the orb with all of his damage. You have Core to also deal with the orb and add extra damage on top of the traps. And then you have Setzer, meaning who cares if they cleanse their debuffs, even if it only happens once? Don't even worry about it. Setzer doesn't care about reduction. Setzer doesn't give a crap about defenses. You're gonna just rainbow through it. And I think Kor has done it. I believe he's done the impossible. I think that he has actually surpassed Aranea as the best global first. I really think he has. Just how versatile he is and how good he still is after all this time. And it's not a situation where it's like, yeah, Kor can be used. No, he's it's smart to use him in many situations. He's just that damn good. It's also worth mentioning that despite this surprise banner with Balthier and Setzer on it, Vanille is still nowhere to be found. And barely anyone is talking about that, which I find rather strange. Okay, walk me through this logic here because I, I'm having a hard time understanding it. Maybe there's something about Vanille that I'm missing, but from what I gather, her call ability is really good. She has very potent defense down, and she doesn't take up nearly as much debuff slots as, say, someone like Ferris as a call. Ferris had so much hype behind her as a call. Everybody should get this. It's amazing. It's awesome. You don't want to miss this. Pity it if you have to. And honestly, I agree with all those statements. The Ferris call has proven to be one of the best calls in the game, absolutely. But the main reason that I was aware of, again, not the only reason, but the main reason people were pushing that call was the, I believe it's 70% defense down. Really potent defense down that Ferris has. Vanille's, I think, is either the same or maybe even a little more. And now 
Vanille is again nowhere to be found and no one is talking about it. Like why why aren't people mad? I don't understand it. Like why if this were Ferris, I imagine people would be like, what the hell? But Vanille seems like a better call. Like I I don't I don't get it. I just don't get it. But again, I haven't really I'm I'm kinda of talking out of my ass here. I haven't done the research into it, but it just seems inconsistent to me. Unless I'm missing something. You know, let me know if there's something I'm missing, because I will gladly change my opinion. I cannot believe she didn't break that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, see, th okay. Their defenses are pretty bad, so that's why we brought our calls. Honestly, I should have just put Setzer on the team. <laughs> just cut right through it, but I wanted to do it this way. Okay, you know what? It's fine. We got a bunch of free damage. Get our twins in here, and go for the kill. Now we're going to space their turns out a little bit because Jet can re-break them if need be. We're going to hold out for as long as possible and then go into that summon. I never thought I'd say this after the other day, but I like Shiva as a summon, not as someone to fight against. Shiva on our side is great. Going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to Shiva is hell on earth, but a lot colder. We got the speed up, we got the EX recharge up. We get a turn of frame freeze joker, essentially. Solid summon, I'm a fan. You know what? While we have some brave built up, might be a good idea to just dump it all. While we still can. Now would be the time. We've got a few turns of stalling before we have to go in. So let's make the most of it. I want another break. There we go. Stall into it. Wasted a turn of that burst effect, but it's all right. Oh, cool. We can break you too. Go, Jack. Go. So really, at this point, the main thing to watch out for is that orb. Because Garnet is our only means of dealing with it. So not only am I watching their turns and trying to space them out just right so that they don't kill us with the recast, because that recast will kill somebody. Unless it's Garnet because she has last dance. So the fact that they're both looking at her means we could probably take one of them, but why take anything? Oh, another great team for this is um, Sid Mao and Green Barts. I saw Serial do that in the Dystopia Discord server. He showed his uh, party use screen. And yeah, they trounced it. So... If you don't have any of these characters, or the other characters that I mentioned before, use that. You got options for this, apparently. These camels are, I'll say it again, they are not nearly as bad as the first time we saw them. God, I love Jack Slash. I love this button. It's one of my favorite buttons in the game. Something about just the animation, the voice line, all of it. Okay, it's time. I never thought I'd be happy to see Diamond Dust Plus. Congratulations, Universe, you've done it again. While we're in here, just like the burst from before, this gives Garnet a little bit more time to up that orb a little bit. Because we needed it. It was only at two. So we're going to have to make the most of that in order to stay alive. I don't really want Jack breaking right now because he's in the summon. But right there, on, on that last turn of his, he can do it. Because that way he'll get a free turn out of the summon. So that will take. Do it again. Or to bring it to six. Okay, that's workable. That, that, that's workable. I mean, it's still pretty tight, but it's manageable. Okay, get this break. And then you should probably drop this, because again, I don't know where your buff is at. In case we need you to spam a little bit, now you're all refreshed. Last Twins LD. This is cutting it rather close. Thank you, Garnet. Thank you, thank you. But now it's to the point where they gotta just die. They have to die. Very soon. Or that orb is going to kill us. 
But because I'm like this, I'm not doing damage. I'm trying to save turns because I'm a psychopath. Out of LDs, okay, just, just battery for everyone else. There we go. Okay, Jack, we need a break. And you should have one LD left after this to keep this even. They're both at 2%. Oh my god, you didn't kill. Neither did you. Oh my god. God. Save us. That is what cutting it close looks like. But a win's a win. I'd ask who you guys ran, but I know most of you were going to say Ace, and I would have done it too if I had the option. Well, I did have LD Ace, but I wanted to do this. Thanks for watching, though.